Zane Davenport and I'm in fifth grade. I am showing my pigs. Uh, I'm done showing actually. So now if the reader wants her back, we'll give it back. But if not, we're gonna take her to the butcher shop. No! No! no. What do you feed it? Pelleted feed that has a mixture of corn and molasses in it. I like it. I like that. Three cups every feeding. So we feed her six cups a day. He just showed her at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. So she had to look her very best to go and show there. Hey, check I didn't place, but she walked amazing. If she goes back to the breeder, she'll have babies to be shown for next year. I only have two and it's a girl. Uh, she's rooting in the ground for roots, eating them. They don't sweat like us, so they either fall in mud or dig. Touch it, just get too much person. You know how y'all go take a shower and you'll leave the hair and not even look at it. Oh, shampoo. Yeah, shampoo. But this one's fish bird. It's just like a big one. We need to be really good at the shelter. Well, this is funny if the pig just goes to a bunch of shelter. This side, they go that side. And this side, they go this way. And if you hit them in the head, they'll go backwards or forwards. This is corn and mix. Okay, any questions? You can do in the green. Yeah. Um, so these two are around 10 months and that one's around 11 months and that's why she's so much bigger than these two because these two are younger. So that's called a tube and then there's bigger um, there's bigger coats when you use like a puffer jacket compared to a sweater. Um, the bigger jackets are what you call a canvas and I, this is a canvas right here. And that's what goes on the lamb's body when it gets really cold. So that is a blower. Um, it's a blower. When we uh, shear and dress up the lamps for show, we use that after we wash them. It's like a hair blow dryer. Whenever your hair is wet, you blow it and it gets dry. So that's what we use to um, blow dry our lamb's body and their leg will to fluff it out. Uh, yes, you? Where do you get the lamb? Um, there's a lot of different breeders with different price ranges. It really just depends on your budget and stuff. Some lamps sell for $12,000. Some lambs sell for as little as 750, um, but there's places everywhere, so different breeders. How many babies can you carry? Um, up to three. We've had a couple of our ewes have triplets usually, but it's it's very lambs usually switch off from having twins one year to a single the next year, and then twins in one year. Um, the and next triplets. Year. Um, triplets are kind of rare for lambs, but sometimes. How small is a baby one? They're yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty tiny.
these are buckles that you could win at rodeos. Most of them are mine. these kids that don't really know how to do all of this and showing them what you could do in a rodeo. I've been doing this for six years. Feed them every day, twice a day. Uh, no like what things like cows can catch like get, having a tumor or like a or wart and stuff or like what they look like, ringworm and all that. And you have to make them look pretty and look like It's like this. compared to us two. They got to look like me and not my brother. Well, they have to look like they can't have all their hair just crumbled up. You have to shave it. You have to make sure they're shaved. They have to be washed because they're also looking because you want your steer to be clear. Like you can clearly see what's good on the steer. Uh, you gotta weigh them at least once a week. You gotta make sure you know how much they weigh and how much you need to feed them to get to like what you want, like heavy or like light. Also wash them like once a week. And you need to know a guy or a vet that can. Just in case if you have any questions. Like, uh, um Joe Taylor, we Joe go to Taylor. this guy named Joe Taylor. Like oh, no, just in case much. like like just in case if we need our hoof trims, like well, just in general. Just in case, what, just in case like like ringworm and all that we need and make sure we have a guy that can cover it and like give us tips of what we need to do and all. We brought our horses out here to to help with this uh, rodeo day, just help promote and help uh, advance the rodeo community and they just celebrate rodeo. The saddles, the equipment that all involves, you know, horses and rodeo and ranching. So we kind of all put it together, did a quick little demonstration for them. We see it on a daily basis, but it's kind of cool because you get to hear the kids that are like, I've never pet a horse before, you know, and it's just neat. Their, their facial expressions, just the joy in them to see and to be able to pet a horse. I mean, you know, they've never been able to be that close to an animal like that. Yeah, it's it's like bringing a different world to them that they've never seen before. You know, they may have seen it, but they've never actually interacted with it. It's getting smaller. I mean, a lot of ranches are selling out and stuff. And it's just really important to make sure that my kids understand that, you know, where their traditional, where their family traditions come from, the, the, the lifestyle that we live, I just want to keep it going. I come kind of from a different background. Um, my family was really big in the charros and everything in Mexico. So I grew up with that. But once I met Eddie, I started getting more involved in the American rodeo and the American ranching way of life. So I've kind of had to um, mend both cultures together. So you know, I get to teach my children both ways of you know, riding and the sports and the ranch life and everything. I'm just real thankful for uh, you know Miss Conover and Lido just 
for giving these kids the opportunity and it's given us our opportunity for all the people that showed up to to share our uh, knowledge and our skills with with the kids you know it's our passion it's we'll our never life. pass up an opportunity to share that with people so you know we we're really grateful for the opportunity that miss conover provides for us and for the children